dear friends in Christ Jesus and children of Mother Mary. Welcome to day five of the beautiful Marian month of October dedicated to the Holy Rosary. All the 55 titles in the Litany of Loreto of Mother Mary are very powerful and flow with healing powers. Today, we shall reflect on two significant titles, Mother Most Amiable and Mother Most Admirable. Amiable comes from the Latin amabile, meaning lovable. Love is the answer to everything and love explains why our Mother Mary is Mother Most Amiable and Admirable. Whatever Jesus did and demonstrated his immense love, whether he spoke sternly in the temple or tenderly to the woman who sinned, the same love is reflected in Mary's every thought and action. In her is the spirit of understanding, eloquent, active, undefiled, sure, sweet, loving, that which is gentle, kind, and secure, says Wisdom, chapter 7, verse 22 to 23. And Esther, chapter 2, verse 15, says, She was exceedingly fair, and her incredible beauty made her appear agreeable and amiable in the eyes of all. One of the reasons which makes Mary the mother most amiable is her beauty. And we are not talking of external beauty. In an age that is obsessed with beauty, looks and appearances, perhaps it is fine to consider external beauty. But Mary is endowed with that true inner beauty. We go to beauty parlors or salons to beautify ourselves externally, but rarely think of beautifying our soul. We need to make ourselves more beautiful by imitating Mary. How was our mother Mary so lovable or amiable? We see her lovable in five different ways. In her fear, in her spontaneity, in her bewilderment, in her concern, and in her tears. In the Annunciation quoted in Luke chapter 1 verses 29 to 30, the angel then said, Be not afraid. So she was troubled like any of us, faced with a situation which she could not comprehend. Yet she had deep faith in the plan of God to use her as the instrument of conceiving Jesus through the Holy Spirit. She was so lovable in this, her natural fear. Then we find her lovable in the spontaneity of her visit to help her cousin Elizabeth, though she had to travel very far. And she waits to disclose this important news of the Annunciation with Elizabeth, just like any of us, so lovable. Luke chapter 1 verse 46 and 47 recounts the words my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior she went to help but her natural spontaneity to share the good news with her cousin is so amazingly lovable without being cautious about what to say and what to keep a secret Mary was amiable in her bewilderment on losing her son and searching for him, wondering, why did God do this to me? And Luke chapter 2 verse 50 says, And when she found him in the temple speaking to the elders, and Jesus told her, Don't you know that this is my father's business and you have to be about it too? She found it strange because she did not have answers. Many a time, friends, we don't know why something happens and we don't have answers and are puzzled. 
Then we see Mary at Cana so lovable in her concern. She as the queen identifies most quickly the needs of the people around being concerned about the bride and the groom and the parents. In the wedding function, we would be so busy talking about our clothes or jewelry that we would notice someone needs help. But Mary was concerned about other people's embarrassment. So lovable was she. Her loving eyes would search for who is in need. And finally, we see her lovable in her tears, standing at the foot of the cross, weeping continuously for her precious son. Matthew chapter 23 verse 37 says in Jesus' words before the Last Supper, I wanted to gather you close to me just like a mother hen gathers her loved ones. But you didn't want to be very close to me. Friends, no one ever outgrows a mother's love. A love that begins in the womb and never ends. How much the mother must have cried in private. She is so lovable even in her emotional tears. Let us then think of this beautiful mother so amiable and admirable and run to her every time we need her. Praise be Jesus. Ave Maria. Have a wonderful Sunday with the Lord and with Mother Mary.